In this lesson, we'll get started with the boots for our character by laying down some base colors. All right, fantastic. So this is where we left off in the previous lesson. And um, at this point, we've got her skirt and her boots left. Let's go ahead and move down to her boots here. And if we want to take a look at the shadows and highlights layer, I've actually come in and kind of planned out for our shadows and highlights on that layer. So if we go and select that, you can see here, again, I've got kind of shadow areas, kind of mid-tone areas, and then I've got some empty shapes I've drawn for kind of those sharp specular highlights that I'd like to kind of reflect off these boots. So uh, thinking about the materials something is made out of um, is obviously going to dictate the type of highlights, if they diffuse more, if they are sharper, uh, shiny highlights. So um, let's jump in here and let's see, let's go ahead and just select our shirt layer and we'll just go ahead and make a new layer by flicking up to it rename that over here to boots there we go and let's go ahead and get started now in thinking about kind of the base colors for the boots light to dark same rule applies here so uh, I'm going to go ahead and select let me go and grab that medium uh, broad nib and let's go ahead and jump over here to kind of our desaturated, lighter uh, hues for our browns here. This would be a good place to start. So if we come over and select maybe our highlight color, uh, think about what that's going to look like. We obviously want it to be a warm because we talked about our light source is warm. So uh, maybe a color like this um, might even, that's a little bit more saturated than I'd like. So uh, let's come in here and grab our broad nib instead so we can cover a little bit more area. And we'll go ahead and set the slant to zero. And I'm just going to come in here. Again, we're working on top of our boots layer. So now in coloring these boots, we're going to kind of disregard the laces for right now. Um, it's going to be easier to just kind of come in at a later point and actually just erase away those, all those little fine details. Now, if we were working on an actual piece of paper, we obviously wouldn't be able to do that. But uh, again, part of the benefit of working digitally. So uh, we'll come in here and just lay down kind of our base color here. And again, I'm using that big broad nib. So uh, not really concerned with getting outside of the lines. I know that we're going to be cleaning this up as we go along here. There we go. All right, so I've kind of given it a single pass, and you can kind of see by the streakiness, if I hide that layer, um, I haven't gotten this dark with it anywhere. So uh, now, you know, as a general rule, we're going to obviously be bringing in more colors, but we can start to kind of think about the areas of shadow just by coming over them and darkening them up some with this exact same marker. So uh, we can come in and maybe start to darken those. Let's grab our eraser here. We went and got a little bit out of control when we were going out of the lines. That's okay. So you can see here how I've darkened up a little bit, made them a, little, a bit more saturated, a little more, a bit more opaque. Um, the areas on either side here. Now, obviously, the highlights, according to that layer right here, are going to be right here, here, uh, maybe a little one down here, and one over here on the toe. So uh, we can come over and do the same thing on this side. Really darken up this side opposite our light source. And kind of hit this edge over here a little bit as well, just like so. All right, great. So let's go ahead and jump into with another color here. Now, again, we're working on this particular layer here. And the one thing about this uh, particular grouping of colors is there's nothing here that's just overly saturated. So um, we can go with maybe a color like this if we wanted to. Uh, let's maybe shrink our brush down. We're at a 40 right now, which is the smallest this large broad nib will go. So um, if we want, we can come over here and switch to this one here. There we go. Maybe make that a bit larger and start to bring in some of these shadows. Now, obviously, the, I, I have in mind that these are uh, a brown boot, a kind of a brown patent leather type boot. So uh, we're, we've got quite a bit of a quite a bit of ways to go in terms of value. So uh, we've got 
a lot of freedom when it comes to laying down color here. So I'm not too worried about them being perfect at this point. Now as I get closer to this highlight here, uh, I may want to come in and start to think about maybe blending a little bit, making my, my strokes a little smoother. But as of right now, not just overly concerned with that. Let's jump over here to our more saturated, deeper colors. So uh, this is kind of the color we went at that uh, side first with, or rather just now. So I'm just kind of kind of handle this one boot at a time here. Now typically when you're working on paper, this is not the kind of thing where you're going to uh, work on an isolated area. Typically you're going to work the entire illustration at once uh, just simply f because of the fact that uh, you don't want to get values uh, different in different areas like your darkest values. You want those to all be consistent throughout the image. So uh, a way to sort of regulate that is to just kind of work the entire image at one time. Now there's a little bitty highlight right up here, so I'm going to try and be careful and, and not color over that. And we'll just kind of run this down. You can see I'm sort of working my way from the darker side of the boot towards the lighter side. And we can constantly be getting deeper and darker in terms of our shadows as well. Yeah, let's switch to my eraser. Just kind of trim some things up real quick. All right, great. I'll reserve the laces in terms of cleaning those up till we're ready to actually come in and uh, put some color on those. But um, you can see here, let me just go ahead and get rid of that highlights and shadows layer. You can see here what the color is starting to look like on that side over there. Now, um, obviously, we have a long way to go uh, for the rest of the boot here. So I'm going to actually turn that back on so I can kind of map out these highlights. And I just went over one of them. So I want to be really kind of careful about that. And I just went over another one here. Now, ultimately, we may end up having to go over these highlights and darken them a little bit, but I'd much rather do that when we need to, if we need to, rather than coming in and just accidentally hitting those highlights now. All right, just doing a little bit of blending here. And we'll come in and uh, erase away some. Now, ultimately, I think I've said this before, but there's a lot more freedom here when we're working with uh, uh, markers digitally than there is in the real world. Obviously, well, there's no erasing in the real world. So um, you have to use a variety of different sizes of markers. And um, you really, your illustration has to be a certain size, especially if there's a lot of detail in it. So um, we're going to come over at this point. Let's go ahead and grab maybe a more of a saturated red color here. Start to bring that down. And I want this to kind of go onto the toe and kind of wrap around. Sort of like so. All right, great. So uh, let's come over here, maybe grab this one again. Starting to get a little bit lighter in value, uh, as well as a little warmer uh, as we get closer to those highlights. And we do have kind of a, a fold right here that's behind the laces, so we definitely will want to make sure and and uh, really hit that with some value. I want to be really careful, though. I don't want to go too dark too quick with that. So, um, again, never a good idea to go dark fast when it comes to markers uh, because you can always build up to darker values, but you can never peel those darker values back unless you just erase them. So um, ultimately right now we're looking pretty good. I may come in here and start to gradually build up some of these browns 
over on this opposite side. And I just went over that highlight again, so let me undo that. And I want the heels to be kind of a dark color, so we'll, we'll leave those kind of the way it is. And let's come in here with a little bit more of a, a warm color. Start to kind of blend those together some. All right, great. These are starting to look pretty good. Um, I've like, I like how we're starting to kind of really define the areas of highlight. Now, obviously, we still have a long way to go with our boots here, uh, but we made some good progress in this lesson. So um, let's go ahead and move on at this point to the next lesson, and we'll pick up where we're leaving off here.